I'm coming to you today from my garden, which since it's 32 degrees out is indoors and pretty small, but it's green and beautiful. But it's still a great place to discuss how to change the settings on your cell phone so that you can A, use the German keyboard and B, change all of everything, all of the display to German so you can operate your phone in German if you're feeling very fluent and you need more practice. So let's get started and I will share my screen. First of all, we are going to go to settings. And I will change the keyboard first because once I change the operation settings, it will be all encompassing and this will all be in German. What you want is general management. So if I click on that, you see language and input at the top. And if I click on that, you will see language at the top. You will see keyboards, on-screen keyboard. And those are the two spots that we are going to use. Language and on-screen keyboard. So on-screen keyboard will allow you to add keyboards to your phone. So you can have multiple keyboards. You can have the English keyboard, the German keyboard, French, Spanish. You can have as many as you want. If we click on the Samsung keyboard, we are going to click on languages and types. And you will see that only English is loaded on my phone. So if I click on manage input languages, you will see there are a lot of languages here and only a few of them have been downloaded. Those are the ones at the top. So I could, I already have Chinese, French, German, Italian, Japanese, Korean, Spanish, and Vietnamese. I don't know why I have all of those, but it's delightful. So German is on there, but it's not activated because as you see, it's not blue like the English one. So what we want to do is just click on this little round button next to German and it will switch to blue, which means it's activated. And once you've done that, all you have to do is go and click the uh, back button and now you can see there are two languages available, the English keyboard and the German keyboard. So now let's go back with the back button. And we will start using the keyboard. So I'm going to imagine I am adding a text to someone, I don't know, but let's type the text first. Now, if you look at the bottom, you will see English. This means I am using the English keyboard. Uh, but if I want to type a message to my friend in Germany, I will change to the German keyboard. And what I did is I clicked on this button and swipe to the side. You can swipe this way or this way, either way will help you scroll through the keyboards, depending on how many you have. I only have two on here, but if I had three, I could swipe sideways until I got the keyboard I wanted. So now we have the German keyboard and I can say something like, uh, schönen Tag noch. And there you have it. You have the O umlaut. You can use any characters you would find in the German alphabet. And type whatever you want. So that's the German keyboard. That's how you set it up and how you use it. If you're feeling really ambitious, you can change the entire um, operating system to German. And that is how I usually have it set up personally. So well, let's go back to settings. We're going to go back to general management. We're going to go to language and input. And instead of going to on-screen keyboard, we are going to click on 
language. So you can see I have downloaded three languages, English, German, and French. So if they aren't downloaded, you can click on this add language button and you see there are lots of different languages you can add. Uh, it looks like it's suggesting Spanish for me, uh, but you can choose whichever you want. And they don't have English translations because if you're going to be changing the language, you had better know how to say that language in the language you're using. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to use your phone after this. So just be careful. You need to be completely fluent or know your way around before making this change. So I already downloaded German, which is Deutsch for Deutschland, which is Germany. And you can see English is at the top with the check mark because that is the language I'm using to navigate right now. If I want to change to German, I am going to click on German and the check mark will move down and this button will appear, this apply button. So I'm going to click apply. And now if you read at the top, notice it is all in German because my, my phone's language has been switched to German. So now no matter where I go, everything will be German. And this is great for practicing. Uh, you just have to be really careful because you can easily get lost in your phone if you don't understand German well enough. Okay, and if you want to switch it back, just go back here. And you can also remember this icon, which has the three dots. That's where you're always going to want to go back to. And then uh, Sprache und Eingabe means language and entry. So we'll click on that. And at the top again, you can see German and English. So you can go back to that and click on English again, Unwenden. And then it's back to English. I'm going to switch it to German because I like leaving it in German. So that's how to switch your keyboard so you can use the German or the English keyboard or many other keyboards, uh, whatever you want. And also how to switch your operating system in your phone to German. So have fun with that. Uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comments down below and uh, happy learning. Tschüss!